Hello children, how are you? I hope that everybody are fine and safe staying at your home. Okay, are you following the videos children? And this is your Sabagya Madam. Uh, I am ready with your new topic from the lesson 3. How do rains come? Okay children. So in our last video we were talking about evaporation. I hope you have understood children what is evaporation. Evaporation is conversion of water into water vapor on heating okay children so now we will see another important phenomenon that is called as condensation repeat it children condensation okay now we will see the definition of it what is condensation the process of conversion of water vapor into water on cooling is called condensation so, it is exactly the reverse of evaporation. Here, in the evaporation procedure, the water is converted into water vapor. Right, children? But in condensation, the water vapor is converted back into water when it is cooled. Okay, children? So, this procedure is called as condensation. So, children, let us repeat this definition once again. The process of conversion of water vapor into water on cooling is called condensation okay children so we have many things that are related to condensation see children when we are in the winter season so when we are going through the winter season we experience this condensation see children in the winter season, what you will do early in the morning when you get up, you blow some air outside like this. Yes. So when you blow it, you can see fumes coming out of your mouth. Is it so? Yes. So what are these fumes coming up? See, these fumes are nothing but when it is in cool season or in the winter season, the outer temperature is very cool when compared to the temperatures inside our body okay children so in the morning when you get up and when you blow some air outside the air which is coming out of your mouth contain few water droplets when you blow like this what happens immediately the vapors which are coming out from your mouth cools down okay they cools down because of the lower temperatures outside and they form into tiny droplets okay children they form into tiny droplets because of this phenomenon you can see that the air is coming out of your mouth do you think children this phenomenon happens during the summer season no why because in summer season the outer temperatures are more high when compared to the temperature of our body. So, the condensation is a procedure in which the conversion of water vapor into water on cooling. Okay, children. So, that is the reason why in the winter season when you blow out the air, due to the procedure of condensation that is taking place, the water droplets or the smoke-like thing which is coming out of your mouth can be clearly visible during the winter season. Okay, children. And I will also ask you one more thing. See, in the morning season, sorry, in the early morning when you observe, there are small plants or bushes which are covered with the dew. What is the reason behind it? See, have you observed that? If you observe the small plants or bushes, the leaves are covered with small water droplets or the dew droplets. So, what is the reason behind it? The reason is nothing but the same thing. So, during the winter season, the fog is formed. Fog is nothing but the few drops of water. The fog is nothing but few drops of water that is appearing on the leaves of the small plants. Okay, children. So, now we will see one small experiment regarding condensation. Okay, children. Okay, children. For the procedure of condensation, let us conduct an experiment. Okay. See, I have taken a steel glass. See how it is, it is dry. Okay, children. Now I am going to add some ice cold water into this. And let us observe what happens to this glass. Okay. See now, before I draw.
dropped some water into the glass, the glass was very clear. Yes, children? Yes or no? So, now if you observe, see, there are few water droplets forming on the outer surface of the glass. What is the reason behind this? Why? Because when I pour ice cold water into this glass, the surface of the glass gets very cool. Yes? And the atmosphere or the air around it is warmer than the air near to the surface of the glass. As the water is here, now what happens? The coolingness or the cool water in this glass makes the surrounding air, the air which is very close to the glass, to become cool. What did happen? The air surrounding the glass will become cool. As a result, you can see, if you observe, you can touch it. You can see the water droplets forming on the outer surface of the glass. Not only the glass, if you take out a water bottle from the refrigerator and leave the water on the table, you can observe, see, the bottle or the water which is present on the outer surface will turn into water again. So the water vapor which is exposed to the nearest of this bottle is getting cooled and the water vapor is converted back into water. Okay children, so this, these are the perfect examples to show the procedure of condensation. Okay children, now let us repeat this definition once again. The process of conversion of water vapor into water on cooling. So because of cooling weather or because of the cooling of the atmosphere near the glass or the water bottle, what happened? The water vapor is converted into water. Okay, children. So, this is perfectly called as condensation. Okay, now we will see how the clouds are formed. As we were talking about how the rain comes. And we know that rain comes from the clouds. And we have also seen that the clouds are formed when the water is being evaporated. The water is being evaporated and water vapor goes up into the sky and it forms clouds. Okay, get ready children. Okay children, now let us see how clouds are formed and rain is coming down onto the earth. So what are clouds? As we see into the sky, you can see Sometimes white color clouds and sometimes gray color clouds. But how these clouds are formed? Now let us learn about that clearly. Okay. See in this picture I have drawn for you. See this is an water body. It could be either oceans, rivers, ponds, lakes, seas or whatever the water body it could be. So what happens? When the sun is there, due to the heat of the sun, the water in the water body gets heated. The water in the water body gets heated. Due to the heating, what happens? When the water is heated, what happens children? The water gets evaporated. Evaporation means formation of vapors. Yes? So here the water is there. Here the water is there. Hmm. Excuse me. The water, when it is heated, is converted into water vapor. Okay. And this water vapor will go up into the sky. Okay, children. Why the water vapor always goes up into the sky? Why? Because the water vapor has a lighter weight than the water. Okay, the water molecules, when they are in the liquid state, they have some weight. But the water molecules, which when are in the vaporous state, has less weight compared to the liquid state. So, what happens to the water vapor? They travel towards the atmosphere into the sky okay so here the evaporation procedure has taken place what is taking place evaporation evaporation that is heating of water or conversion of water into water vapor this is a natural phenomenon okay this is a natural phenomenon 
So when this water vapor, what happens to this water vapor? This water vapor travels up into the sky because of the lighter weight. As it moves away from the earth's surface, the air becomes cooler. Yes? Manamala ettu ke elta unna puru temperatures are nevi tagi pota unde. Okay, children. As you move up into the air, the temperatures will decrease. So if you are near to the earth, you have such a high temperature. When you are moving far away from the earth's surface, the temperatures will decrease and the air or the water vapor which is traveling away will become cooler. Okay. At heights, the vapor gets cooled due to the cool air in the surrounding atmosphere. Okay, children. The water vapor completely cools up and they form small air droplets. They form into small air droplets. I said condensation is nothing but conversion of water into water droplets because of cooling. So what happens? These tiny water droplets, they remain floating in the air. Those are very small and tiny. Because of the small tiny water droplets, they stay in the air itself and they move here and there. So at this level, they float in the high levels. They float in the high level of the atmosphere and from when you see from the earth, they look like the clouds. They look like the clouds. So this is how clouds are formed in the sky. Okay children. So evaporation is taking place first. Because of evaporation, the water is converted into water vapor and it travels to the higher levels. Okay. After traveling to the higher levels, the air makes that water vapor to cool down and the water vapor is converted into small tiny droplets of water, very tiny droplets of water. Okay children, so these droplets are floating in the high levels of the atmosphere. So when you look at them, you, what, how they will appear? They will appear like a cloud, a mass of small little water droplets together. Okay children. Okay, children. Now we will see an activity. Okay. Firstly, what we will do is we will take a bowl, a steel bowl, and pour some water into it. Okay. And we will put it on the stove. We will place this bowl on a stove. Put it in a sill. So, after a few minutes, what happens? You can see water vapors. As the water present in the vessel boils up, the water vapors come up. Okay, children. So, when it starts to evaporate, now take this plate and cover it on the outer surface of this vessel. Okay. What you do? As the evaporation starts or begins, take a plate, steel plate, and cover it on the surface of this vessel. Okay. Wait for a few minutes. Now lift up this plate. What do you observe? You can observe on the plate small droplets of water. Okay, very small droplets of water. Okay. See, if you see, this is the plate. They put like this and if I see, you can see, see what, how the water droplets can be seen. Yes. Okay, now put the plate like this and pour some cool water on the top. And pour some cool water on the top. So now observe what happens to the droplets of water. What happens? If you observe it, if you do at your home this activity, you can clearly see the water droplets which are present on the plate or the inner side of the plate started falling down. Why? Because we have added some cool water on the top. Okay. When you add the cool water on the top, the water droplets under the plate will get completely cooled and they fall down. And they fall down. It is simply called rain. That's it. So, now we will think. This is small experiment which is of very lesser height. But imagine the same water vapor which is rised into the sky. See, we are having much difference from the earth and the sky. So, if this evaporation takes place, 
So the same thing happens like the water droplets that are falling from the plate? Definitely no. Why? Because here the plate is very less and also the amount of water vapor which was taken is very less. But if you take it in the sky or in the atmosphere, we have lot more water bodies and also the procedure of evaporation is a little slower when compared to that we have done on the stuff. Okay, so it takes some time and it also takes some time to travel from the earth to the sky. There they have to settle down and later the other things have to be done. Okay, children. So once when the water vapor reaches the sky and forms the clouds, as the clouds are of little tiny water droplets, they cannot stay at one place as the air or the wind is moving here and there. The wind carries these clouds from one place to another place. You know that children, if you observe the sky, what you can see? You can see clouds moving from one place to another place. They are not stationary. They can't stay at one place. They often move from one place to another place. They, they are blown away by the wind or air. Yes, children? So, as the clouds move from this place to that place and they all come together or closer to one another. So, when they come closer to one another, they are laden. They are laden and they are formed into bigger clouds. Okay. Now, we have clouds ready. Yes, children? But we don't know how the clouds are giving us rain. So before that, let us have two questions discussed here. The first question, what is the color of the cloud before rain? What is the color of the cloud before rain? If you observe in the sky, if the clouds are very white in color, so we don't expect any rain. Yes, children? We never expect a rain. Yes. If you observe darker clouds in the sky, Whenever you are observing darker clouds in the sky, you expect a rain. There might be some rain in your future. Yes, children. So, what is the reason behind it? We will know. Next one. How are clouds converted to rain? As I said that, all clouds doesn't give us rain. Okay, children. All the clouds, if you see the sky daily, you will see some clouds. But daily it will rain. No, mostly it will rain up in the rainy season or sometimes it rain up a little bit somewhere, yes? But you cannot see continuous rain daily. So, we have to learn more things about these two questions. Okay, children? And now what happens? We all know that the clouds, the clouds are the main reason for the rains. So, we will know how it is caused. We all know that without clouds, it will not be possible to get rain and that all clouds do not cause rain. Some changes take place in the clouds before they cause rain. So we have to learn what are the reasons or what causes the rain from the clouds. The clouds that are moving in the air are generally at higher levels. As I said that, the clouds are always placed at the higher levels. Okay. Sometimes what happens? The breeze. What is the breeze mean? Breeze means air, flowing air. We are seeing, yes, wind. So the breeze, sometimes what it does is it makes the clouds cooler. See, children, if there are clouds in the sky. So some breeze is coming. Some air is blown to onto the clouds. Clouds. So when the air is breathing or flown onto the clouds, what happens? Here the water droplets are there. Yes or no? So the clouds are nothing but the water droplets. Due to the air, what happens is air, cool air will make these clouds to become more cooler. They become more cooler. As the clouds become more cooler, what happens? What happens? This lead here, see if you think this is one droplet of water, there are other droplets. So what happens, this water droplet 
are mixed up together and formed into bigger water droplets. Okay, children. See, one water droplet is because they are becoming cool and cool, so all together they will form into bigger water droplets. As I said that water has weight. Yes, children. So as the droplet size become bigger and bigger, what happens? It cannot further stay in the cloud or it cannot further stay in the sky. So what happens? Due to the continuous cooling of these clouds, the water droplets fall as rain. The water droplets fall as rain. So what is happening children? Due to the process of condensation, due to the process of condensation, the water vapor is converted back into water droplets and falling down as rain. This is how rain is formed. This is how rain is formed. See what a great phenomenon of science. How the water is evaporated from the water bodies? It is moved up into the sky and from there the procedure of condensation takes place Due to the process of condensation, again the water vapor is converted back into water and falls onto the earth as rain. Okay, children. So, children, what do you experience before rain? If you see, before rain, you can feel the cool breezes coming in. Because of this cool winds, because of this cool wind or the cooler temperatures, what is happening in the clouds? The condensation procedure has started. So, that is the re only reason why before rain we can experience a cool breeze coming into us. Yes, children? Okay, children. So, what do we see before rain? What do you see? You can see cool breeze coming out. Yes, children? Yes, we see cool breeze coming and also dark clouds coming. So, whenever we see these two conditions, we can expect a rain. Why? Because as I, as I said that, the clouds have to convert or the water vapor have to convert it back into the water, water droplets. Okay. So, these water droplets, when they, have, when they are attacked, or when they are undergoing to the cool breeze, the water droplets are condensing themselves or converting themselves into bigger droplets and they will fall onto the earth as rain. I said. Okay, so that is the only reason why we can see the cool breeze coming before the rain. See, in very cold conditions, see these conditions are not visible by us, but when you Go into the higher atmosphere levels. You can see this condition. Okay. In very cold conditions, the water droplets convert as crystals of ice. I said that the clouds are containing water droplets, tiny water droplets. When the cool breeze or cool conditions are there, these tiny water droplets are converted because of coolness, they converted into small crystals of ice. Okay. So, this ice may fall down as snow. If you see all the foreign countries, they always have snow fall. Yes, children? Especially during the winter seasons, they have heavy snow fall. Why? Because the water droplets which are present in the cloud get completely cooled up. Completely cooled up. Because of the cool temperatures there, the water droplets cannot withhold themselves into the in the cloud and they fall down as snow. And I also said that there are bigger water droplets also. These small droplets form into bigger water droplets. These bigger water droplets sometimes under the same condition, cool condition, they convert into ice, big, uh, sorry, big masses of ice and they fall down as hailstones. Vadagandlu in Telugu. Vadagandlu. Yes, children, sometimes we often see the rains with hailstones. So, these are the things or these are the conditions that we see and uh, how the clouds are formed. The clouds are formed due to evaporation and the rain is coming down because of the procedure of condensation. So, these two 
procedures are very important in our water cycle. Okay, we have learned about them in a water cycle in class 5. Yes, children. So, this water cycle is continuously being repeated. And there are few points that I have to add. I will add a video clip regarding that point. And children, I hope that you have understood this video. Do read the textbook and follow the video completely. And stay home, stay safe. That's all for this video. Let us meet very soon. Thank you. Okay, children, there are few facts that we have to learn. See here, in our textbook, they have given us some important points. Generally, we get rains in some particular months during the year. In our state, rains occur normally from June to September. Yes, children? During that season, you might have observed in the sky that clouds are moving along with the winds blowing from western direction. Means here the winds are moving from the south to west side. From south to west side. These winds are called as southwest monsoons. Because of these monsoons only, we are getting more rains, particularly from June to September. Similarly, we observe in the months of November and December, rains occur due to movements of clouds. In the direction of winds blowing from eastern side to the northern side. Uh, I'm sorry children. From the northern side to the east side. These winds are called as northeast monsoons. Nowadays, we are not getting timely rains and seasons are also changing slightly. Think why it is happening so. So children... These monsoons, the northeast monsoons and the southwest monsoons, these are the two main monsoons that are seen in our India, especially where we can see rains coming heavily, especially in the month of June to September and also in the months of November and December. See, children. Nowadays, these climatic conditions are completely changing. You have to think what are the reasons behind these changes. Especially the pollution. The pollution of the environment is causing these changes. Okay, children. So, we have to protect our mother nature so that the whole life cycle goes on smoothly. Thank you, children.